Hi, everyone. Welcome to the second week of our course. You've spent the first week laying down some important historical groundwork. So now we can go on to the fun stuff, the actual poetry. So this week is going to feature three distinct parts. I'll briefly walk you through each part so that you're clear what you need to get done each step of the way. The first part will feature biographical information on John Donne, the central figure of our course. You'll be asked to do some reading and then create a timeline based on that reading. And this timeline can be in any format that you prefer. The point is to digest the information and have it handy when you're looking at his poetry. So whatever format is most useful for you, whether that's a simple document or an infographic with visuals or even a video, all we ask is that you note the key events and influences in Dunn's life. A PDF of the biographical document as well as the timeline rubric can be found here in the files. For the second part, we're finally going to be looking at some of Dunn's poetry. The first introduction to this will be through a short video that will cover the major markers and characteristics of metaphysical poetry, including Dunn's, of course. After you've completed watching the video, you'll go on to several poems by Dunn and eventually choose one for the discussion at the end of the week. And what I do is read through all of them because they're all wonderful and worth reading. But once you do, choose one that you really want to delve into and that will be the subject of your discussion post to follow. So for that discussion, you'll be asked to identify the elements of the poem that reflect various influences and events in Dunn's life based on that timeline that you've created. And then also looking at some of the characteristics of metaphysical poetry covered in that video. So we're just kind of synthesizing all the material into a single discussion post. And of course, since it's a discussion, you'll also be asked to respond to your classmates. This week's discussion will be graded, so make sure you check out the rubric under files to see that you met all the criteria. And lastly, to cap it all off, at the very end of this week's work, you'll be taking an assessment covering all of key information from the first two weeks. You'll see questions that are multiple choice, fill in the blank, and some matching as well. By the end of the week, you'll have met three objectives, recalling key terms, figures, and events related to metaphysical poetry, recognizing the features and socio-historical elements of metaphysical poetry in a poem, and meaningfully and respectfully contributing to literary discussion. And as always, you'll have a space to post any questions or comments you may have. We look forward to seeing what discoveries you make this week. Best of luck.